Hi friends, it's Deanna Williston with Our Blooming Catholic Life, and I'm here today because my free dress came from the Wool and 100 Day Dress Challenge. So we're going to open that in just a second. First, let us open up with our prayer before the crucifix. In nomine Patris et Filii et Spiritus Sancti. Amen. Sume gloriose Deus illumina tenebras cordis mehi et da mihi fidem rectum svem certum et caritatem perfectum sensum et cognitionem domine et faciem tuum sanctum et verax mandatum amen in nomine patris et filii et spiritus sancti amen Whew, a little easier each time there friends right it's getting easier okay so i did order a new dress i originally i actually originally originally when i got the pink which I think is actually called orchid color dress that I wore for 100 days, which you may or may not have seen. I may throw some of the, the pictures in here. Um, when I originally got that original pink dress. So it's orchid color. I had wanted the blue one, but they were out of the blue one by the time mine was ordered. Um, and I got sleeveless because I thought it would be more versatile to be sleeveless. I did get one with a waistline to have like an elastic waistline in, which is not my first choice, but I am pear shaped and I am 5'9". And so I needed that waistline definition to break up my form. Otherwise, I'm just a complete blob. So I was happy to get that dress, um, but I'd been on the lookout. They're always coming up with new versions on Wooland. Don't fall into that trap, friends. Remember, the purpose for us is to learn to make a capsule wardrobe and make it smaller. And so I really only want to pick two or three quality dresses, really narrow down um, the amount of clothing even that I have, right? And so uh, even for my secular Franciscan profession, when I went to figure out what to wear, like nothing fit me right anymore. Nothing. It wasn't just, it just didn't seem the right kind of modesty or it was too of the world i don't know some of the cuts were like trendy or something and i'm like Meh. they just weren't me and so what i'm looking for is something very timeless and classic and that can be worn a multitude of ways and so ta -da! Um, i wore that orchid color dress for a hundred days in a row even when it was washed i managed to it would be dry by the end of the day and so I could wear it at least a few hours for the day. Um, that was pretty rare. I normally just straight up wore it. And sometimes I did just throw a t-shirt over it. I won't lie. I tried to wear something different every day. And so that's where it became complicated. But I got to see, because I posted them online, I got to see a lot of feedback from people and not what I expected. And so shirts that had been in the back of the closet for years were the ones that were people's favorites. And that sort of thing really shocked me. But they were ones that kind of defined my shape more or it was colors combinations they had not considered. And so when I went to order the new wool and dress, the, the free one, they only give you $100 free in the end. So this one might have cost $40, which is not bad for, for a wool dress. Um, and so this time I went for the blue. There was a blue one available. I'd like to point out that this is completely flat packaging, completely recyclable here. Set that aside. Um, and as well, the wrapper is, it's just folded up in this little bitty wrapper here. So what dress did I get? People have been dying to know. This is 78% merino wool, 22% nylon, made in Korea. Um, does it tell me exactly what dress it is? The summer midi dress. I got the medium and ocean teal. And it wasn't even supposed to ship until the 13th, but it was here by like the first of the month. And I'm not going to argue that. So it is kind of a bluish green. Um, I do love this color. It came with all the return labels. Should I want them? That's what I'm taking out and setting down. And there's a whole flyer on how to do a return or exchange if you want. Um, so why did I pick this particular dress? Actually, I stalked this dress. One of the great things about the Wool and website is you can literally stalk a dress. They'll put a design up there that they're considering making and you can be like, hey, I want this. I want this color and I want this size and they'll let you know if and when they make it, you'll get an alert. Um, so you're the first ones to jump on there and be able to buy it. And so right after I got my certificate, 
which is an online coupon code to get my free dress. Um, within like a week or so, I think this dress hit the market and I was like, yes. Um, so I was pretty excited. I think the one I was, the other one I was considering getting wore the same dress in the blue color. Neither one was there at that time. They were out of stock. So I was like, I'll just wait. And that is one thing that the capsule wardrobe has really taught me. You wait for the right thing. Don't jump in and buy something just on impulse. Now, this is a little bit similar to the color of the other new dress I got. And I'll try and remember to post that in here. Um, I got that one and it is a cotton dress. I managed to find it at a big box store and I was thinking it was going to be a thin knit fabric. That is the one downfall of these is they are fairly thin and so I do need to wear a slip underneath because um, my body is not fit and tone. I'm not 20 anymore um, and so I do wear a slip under those and this one I still wear a slip but I was just happy that the cotton dress was just a tiny tiny bit thicker. Um, I did like that. So let's see what this dress is. It is still sleeveless okay the cotton dress i got did have little sleeves sleeves that came down about to a t-shirt length sleeve they're pretty nice um so i like having the variety so although this is a similar color this one's actually a little bit more green than that new dress you can see it also has a v neck on it not a deep v just a little bit of a v i'll try and take a picture of me wearing it later what else does it have this one has not the slip pockets the orchid dress had slip pockets this one has pockets on the outside we'll see if that works it's generally a no-no for pairs to have pockets at all because why would you want something lumpy on like your most prominent and not in a good way feature so normally i don't go for pockets but you can you're probably thinking oh this is a sheath dress there's no aha it comes with a tie so it's no longer a sheath dress i suppose you could wear it more straight up and down if you wanted but there is a little bit of shape here um i think it is still a longer length I'm going to go and try this on and see if I can get a picture for you all. I'm not sure if I can pull it off myself. But so this is my third dress. Um, I am going, again, I need the waistline because I'm a pair and I am 5'9". So trying to find a decent length is really challenging. But I know what I want and I go in. And people have been talking about that. How do you slim down your wardrobe? So one of the ways to do it first is to discern what shapes look great on your shape. And you can enlist friends help go into a store and just start trying on dresses. Uh, one of the things somebody else had you do was go to Pinterest first and try and decide what kind of things you really like that you felt were your style. And then do some quizzes to find out what, what your skin tone should be wearing, what your hair color should be, you know, what those colors are. So now you've got a basic idea of things you like, colors that you can wear. And then you're going to want to start trying things on. Find out. You can do the research and it kind of gives you hints online as to what shape dresses really look great on your shape of a body. But feel free. Grab a friend. Go out and start trying things on and find out what shape looks good on you. Just take a friend to the end of the dressing room, you know, or have them stay right outside. You go in and try one on and you're like, okay, this is an A-line dress. Like just pick one A-line dress. It doesn't matter the length because you're just looking at how it sits on the waist first. So do different waistlines. Do an empire waistline. Do an, an A-line dress. Do a sheath dress. Do a bunch of different dresses to find out what shape looks good on your shape. Then you're going to want to try different lengths and see what length looks really good on your body. And consider what kind of shoes you're wearing. I'm often now wearing sandals, but I know in the winter I may end up wearing cowgirl boots. And so I want to think about what looks good with boots as well as what looks good with shoes. Paring down my shoes has also been a bit of a challenge. You know, I walk the dog all the time, so and, and I have pancake flat feet. So I've had to look to find uh, shoes that would gave me both support and it looked decent in, decent in different situations. Since I'm a secular Franciscan, I think I get a little bit more leeway with the uh, sock sandal. <laughs> but that's an act of humility. That's another video. I've already made that, so you could go find that one. Um, but I do have some dress shoes around as well, so I want my dresses. Um, maybe, you know, have, a, have like a pair of sneakers, a pair of hiking boots, a pair of cowgirl boots, a pair of winter boots, right, and some sandals. So you can probably get yourself down to like five pair of shoes if you really try just have one to go for each you don't need to match color everywhere you go you don't because then you're going to start obsessing about it aren't you you are friends you know you are you're gonna be like oh, 
doesn't exactly match our dress. Well, if you've picked your shoes according to your capsule wardrobe and the colors you should be wearing, your shoes should go nicely with your dress. So it's a system. It's a little bit more thoughtful, but it's very freeing when you get there. And so now that I've really picked my three key dresses, I can go through my wardrobe and really thin down um, the scarves, the shirts that will go over them. Uh, I really need to thin out too. I tend to wear a uniform at home, which is often a t-shirt, right? A plain color t-shirt and a denim skirt. I've got way more denim skirts than I need right now. And some of them are shapes that aren't great for me or had pockets. They need to go. The ones with the broken zippers, they need to go. Like I need to start being serious about this. Cutting out the clutter is going to make the rest of life better. And I'm trying to make room for books. When I do a proper book review for you or I'm doing theology and I need to run in and grab a book, it's easy to get. And how I'm going to do that is being organized. I'm going to pare down my clothing collection. I'm going to organize my books and hopefully get some, a lot of the clutter out of the house to make the guy's life better when I'm more organized and the house is cleaner. I think you breathe a sigh of relief. And also we hope to downsize one day. And I don't want to be like my friend Nina, who's having a really hard time going through things now. I'd rather go through things now and stop getting all the clutter. Make more meaningful gifts to me, friends. If you're giving me gifts, try and make them meaningful. Don't just buy me junk to buy me junk. I can give you a list of things that charities need if I don't need something. Deep breath. We can do this. I'm going to go try on this dress. I'm going to try and include pictures of the three dresses I've chosen to focus on. And let's get working on this. Dress. We can do this. It's doable. You don't need to buy into a huge program. You don't need to be the most fashionista person in the world. We're going to find what works for you. You can do it. Take your time. For me, this has been a multi-year process and it's okay. It's okay. We'll get there. We'll get there together, friends. God bless you. Oh, right. Let's say our prayer before the crucifix. And why? Because the point of all this is to help us grow, draw more closely to Jesus. Let's keep this prayer on our lips. In nomine Patris, et Filii, et Spiritus Sancti. Amen. Sume Gloriose Deus, illumina tenebras cordis mehi, et da mihi fidem rectum, spem certain et caritatum perfectum, sensum et cognitionum domine, et facium tuum sanctum et verax mandatum. Amen. In nomine Patris, et Filii, et Spiritus Sancti. Amen. So that I can do your holy and true will, Lord. God bless you, friends.